worldviews affect affect the, the engine of civilization, it affects who we each individually think who, who we are and how we behave and our moral sense, business, it affects everything. So one of the reasons why this is interesting, just purely from a sociological point of view, is research suggesting that our moral sense is deeply tied to our worldview and specifically what we think we are. But an experiment was done by two social psychologists where they, they did the following. They took a bunch of students and they had them read one of two passages. One of the passages was the standard neuroscience description of who we think we are. And then the key phrase in this, this paragraph was, you're nothing but a pack of neurons. This was, was said by or written by Francis Crick, the Nobel laureate uh, who was one of the co-winners of the Nobel Prize for in, uh, discovering DNA. And his view is a standard neuroscience point of view that, that we're basically all material substances, in which case everything you think you are, you know, all of your thoughts and emotions and all of your interior life is nothing but a pack of neurons. Other students ran, uh, read similar material but without this sort of spin on it, the, what might be thought of as a materialistic spin on the, on the data. It was more factual data. And then they gave the students the opportunity to do a couple of experiments where they, had, they could cheat if they wanted to. And they could get money in the process, so there was some additional motivation to cheat. And what they found was that the students who read the passage, you're nothing but a pack of neurons, cheated significantly more. And so what this says is that, there's, that the worldview creates a moral sense. If your worldview says that there is no inherent meaning in anything, and ultimately the universe is a pointless object, and when you die you're dead and there's no, nothing else going on, then it, it changes your sense of how do I need to live right now? Well, if I'm going to die and there's no meaning to it, I should get everything I should get right now. I, I should cheat if I have to. Whereas if we had a different model, which said maybe you're part of some gigantic living system with some kind of inherent meaning and all the rest, maybe you shouldn't cheat because it, it, might, it might track you for a long time. It could have consequences not only for yourself, but for your loved ones and everyone else. So this in the East would be considered something like a karmic debt, some persistent memory that, that tracks your actions. Uh, in the West, of course, we don't have anything like that. And, and it changes how people behave.